Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Miss Samantha, with my Christian Mommy Grammy Gaming channel. And it's Friday, and that means I get to do a reading your comment segment. I love Fridays. I love reading y'all's comments. This is a, a little way I can show some appreciation for all the comments you guys leave me, because you leave me the best, sweetest comments. I have the best community. Y'all are great. But uh, usually, first thing out, we do a spelling error shout out. But this week, I apparently didn't make any spelling errors, or you guys are not catching them. <laughs> Either way, I don't have a spelling error shout out. Y'all keep on it. If you're new to the channel, I do a spelling error shout out. If you catch a spelling error in my title or description of the video, I will give you a shout out. Part of Friday's video is I get to share something that happened to me during my week. You know, just a little something that made my week a little brighter and a little happier. So what happened this week was I was in the nursery on Sunday. We have nursery duty schedule. And um, it was looking like there wasn't going to be any babies coming in. I was in the infant's nursery. So I was preparing to just go and sit next to my husband during church service, which is totally acceptable. I love doing that. <laughs> But I was looking out the door and a, a family that's a friend of our family and has been for years walked in the front door of the church. I haven't seen them in forever. We're fr friends on Facebook, of course, but I haven't seen them personally. I was so excited. It's uh, Brian and Audrey. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we've known them for years and years and years. We knew them before they were married. We knew Brian when he was a teenager. Well, Audrey, too. She went to school with my oldest son. So I was so tickled. They brought their three kids, you know, and, but the baby is two months old. I got to keep their baby in the nursery. And, you know, that might not seem like a big deal, but she used to babysit our kids. Audrey did. One day she uh, she caught our microwave on fire, popping pop popping corn, <laughs> popping popcorn. It was... Uh, Good times, right? Good times. But I didn't, we didn't hold that against her because it was something that I might do myself. So, yeah, that happened. But we got a new microwave. <laughs> That's one way to get a new microwave. Let the babysitter catch your old microwave on fire. Uh. <laughs> but anyway, the baby's two months old and that, well, most ages are the perfect age, actually. But she he just started smiling really good. So she was smiling and cooing and so charming. Uh, it made my Grammy mommy heart melt. Well, February snuck up on me good and fast. So I thought I'd do something I hadn't done before. I went out and picked up this really sweet bear. It's whoop, it's a love it's a love teddy bear for Valentine's. I thought I would do my very first giveaway. So this is to show some love to you guys. If you want to be part of this giveaway, see I've never done this before, so if I do it wrong, y'all let me know. Um, put Happy Valentine's Day down in the comments below. And I will do a drawing during, oh, I'll make a Monday video drawing. And that way I'll have time to get it to you guys by Valentine's. Now, if you get the bear, pretty please either make a little video with your phone or take a picture and send it to me on Twitter so that I can show people who got the bear. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show some love and appreciation back to you guys. So happy Valentine's down in the comments below. And I will mention the bear um, Saturday during the live stream. And then whoever gets it, I will make a Monday video just for that. And I will mail it Tuesday. Will I mail it Tuesday? Yeah, I'll mail it Tuesday. That way you guys will have it in time. So how's that sound? Do you like that? So, teddy bear. Happy Valentine's. So I'm going to put the teddy up here next to Toriel. So during the live stream, y'all remind me to tell people about the giveaway. I don't guess it's a drawing. Well, I guess I'll be drawing names. See, I've never done this before. I see other people do it. It looks like fun. So I'm going to put a little Teddy by Toriel. Excuse me. There we go. It's Teddy and Toriel. <laughs> so put it down in the comments for me. Now on to the reading your comments of the reading your comments video. The first comment comes from Mio Grimward. 
This channel is so refreshing to me, I feel really positive after watching your videos. It's addictive and quite therapeutic, actually. <laughs> That's quite a compliment. Thank you so much, Mio. Um, my husband says I'm the Bob Ross of gaming channels. The next comment is from Uneasiest Daisy. He said, you should see if they make spider whip rolls. He's talking about my sushi video. And it's like, I, I'm kind of gullible. I didn't know if he was teasing me. I was like, is that a real thing? So he sent me a picture of a spider web roll. It's a real thing. It looked so yummy. So thank you, Uneasiest Daisy. Next time I will try that, unless I forget. But it did look yummy. Thank you. Yoderman Forever says, Hi, Samantha. She's your daughter? He's talking about Maggie in the uh, thumbnail from the sushi restaurant trip. And yes, she is my daughter. She's my little sweetie pie. She's 16. We're a lot alike, actually. People call her mini Samantha sometimes. Or, uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Tobar1965, commenting on my Don't Starve Together. I hope you don't have to do a Donner Pass. <laughs> I told him I think that my son would do me in if we did. Um, I'm the fluffiest one, you know. Life's Little Things says, LOL, my name is spelled Karina. C-O-R-I-N-N-A. Thanks for the giggle. I had tried to respond to a comment, and I knew her name was Karina, and I always try to include the name of the channel when I'm replying to comments. Um, but I thought I'd, but I didn't know how to spell her name, so I spelled it two different ways, both of them wrong. That's how you spell Karina. I will try to spell that correctly in the future. Oh, no, that's not a spelling error shout out. But I guess there you go. <laughs> the Antique Autistic says like 14, which means she was like number 14. Y'all remember to like my video. Oops. Y'all remember to like my video. <laughs> uh, she says, you're just a little old kid. Not old looking. But yeah, I guess I am. She's watching my gameplay video and I'm just giggling like a nut and having fun so I'm just a little old kid thank you the antique autistic Cheryl and family says I love your giggle have a good Sunday Miss Samantha apparently my giggle is noticeable I get a lot of comments on it I giggle a lot I laugh a lot I like laughing laughing is good but uh, have a good Sunday that's from last week and I did I had a great Sunday thank you I hope you had a Sunday, a Sunday as well. Yes, I hope you had a Sunday. Goodness gracious. I hope you had a good Sunday, and I hope you have a nice Sunday coming up also. Magmorta says, Woody's secret is turning into a beaver creature. I think it needs to eat a certain amount of wood to turn human again. Not sure if there's a way to avoid turning into a beaver creature or not. Now, Magmorta put this under my last Let's Don't Starve Together because I turned into a beaver. I was so shocked. But then she went and looked it up on Wiki, and she gave me all this great information. She was so, so helpful. Thank you so much, Magmorta. I really appreciate all the help. And the next time I play as Woody, um, the next time I record as Woody, I will know. I've already got the next two videos recorded, and there was a bunch of surprise beaver attacks. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank you for watching, and thanks for helping me out. The next comment is from Chicken Mandy Games. She is so excited. LOL, your children's photos are on the side and you made arrows point to them. I'm laughing so hard. I did mean that to be a joke and I'm glad you appreciated it. You clearly enjoyed it. <laughs> I assume you left all caps on on purpose just for enthusiasm. Oh, thank you so much, Chicken Mandy Games. She watches a lot. She she joins in my live streams on Saturdays sometimes, too. If you're going to team up on, uh, what is it? Not survival. Well, survival, for sure. You're not supposed to team up anyway. We don't team. Um, what's the other one? Sky Wars. Chicken Mandy is the person to team up with. She's really good. Kakom YT says, Hello, Miss Samantha. Can I ask what's your OBS settings? I would like to make a PC gameplay for my channel. Um, that's a good question. I was actually going to make a tutorial for OBS, but I'm running the old OBS. And when I was setting up for it, I went to OBS and they don't have the old OBS anymore. And I don't have time to learn the new B OBS to make a video about it. But I did give Kakom my settings that I have on my OBS. I hope that helps. And good luck making a video. 
Let me know when you complete it. The next comment is from Gamma Boy. You can combine the enchanted axe with that old axe to get a new axe. I was uh, I made an anvil in Minecraft Windows Edition, and it uh, it took <laughs> it took my iron ore to repair an axe, and I could have just made a new axe. But apparently, if you combine old and new axes, it repairs that, so you don't have to waste an axe. So that's good to know. He also he went on to give me a lot of information on a lot of stuff for Minecraft. So thank you, Gamma Boy. I really appreciate that. The next comment comes from John's World. He says, I love how when you're looking for some material, you always find it in the place that you least expect it to be. I was mining like crazy for iron ore in my Windows Edition Minecraft, and I found a bunch of diamonds. It's like, well, thank you so much. I'll take that. Thank you for the comment, John's World. I appreciate that. The next comment is from Crazy Roblox Player slash slash Fire Sean One. I believe that's his name in Roblox. He says, "Hey, Miss Samantha, are you going to stream? I'm just wondering because it says on Roblox that you're on, and I just want to know if you're going to stream right now because I would love for you to stream." <laughs> I was on there late one evening. I was fishing on Meep City because you can sell the fish for coins. It's a way to make money. You have to make money <laughs> in Roblox. Who knew? But uh, I was just there to make money. But in Meep City, you can now change into a teenager or a little kid. And there was all these little kid Meep City people walking up to me and asking me to be their mom. It's like, I'm here to fish. I'm so sorry. I can't. I was being mobbed by little Roblox people. So I had to leave. <laughs> But I don't stream at night because my little recording studio closet thing is next to the master bedroom. And my husband is asleep if I plan to stream at night. Because he gets up at 4.30 in the morning. Whew. So I can't stream at night. I'm so sorry. Maybe once the kids move out, I'll take over one of their bedrooms and stream from there. But right now, I can't stream at night. I'm so sorry, crazy Roblox player. And I had to get off because of the little little mobbing meat people. <laughs> Now the last comment comes from Joey Gaming. He says, so you're going to play Escape the Mine on Saturday? I had, uh, I had been watching Go Joey's Gaming and he was playing Escape the Mine. I was like, oh, that looks like fun. So I put in his comments, I think I'll play that on Saturday. So tomorrow when I'm live streaming starting at 11 a.m., <laughs> I am going to play Escape the Mine. I believe I'll start with that. I, I've never played it. So y'all come and watch me fail. It'll be great. Well, that's the end of this week's reading your comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you liked it. If this is your first visit, pretty please subscribe. I make four or five videos every single week. I always have new stuff coming out. And on Tuesdays and Saturdays in the morning, I do a live stream. It starts at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if uh, you'd like to see some more content, of gameplay, fun, exciting gameplay that you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Join me tomorrow at 11. And I guess I'll see you guys in the stream.